It's Tornado Rex. Wow, race to the top, but beware of Tornado Rex. T-Rex. Wow, it's a high winds and high excitement. You know, this would be better though if we had somebody to play it with. Hmm, yeah, let's get somebody else. Hey guys, can I play? Bad Luck Bootsy? Oh, oh Bad Luck Bootsy. You had to He's a dude He's a duty I head. That dude like the frog one time. Face. He's an idiot. He sucks his own Oh, come on. Oh, Bootsy. You know that one time I almost had that Rubik's Cube solved till you came along and f***ed it up. It was an honest mistake. I'm a boob sometimes. What can I say? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can play Honestly. the game, but wait, hey, hey, hey. Oh. Oh, be careful with that thing. Look, hey, 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 I got it. Look, what are you doing? This is how it works. With Tornado Rex, you put the tornado on the mountain, do it three times. Any more than three times is way too much because this thing will go flying and it'll kill somebody. You'll poke your eye out and die. You got that? I you got it. You only spin it three times. Can you even count to three? One, to who? Three. Let's play this game, guys. I'll be red. I'll be yellow. Here's what you do. You take your hikers, you got two hikers each, you gotta go from the start to the finish. That's pretty easy, right? From start to the finish, without getting hit by the tornado. This is not a game that uses dice for some reason, it uses cards. Where's the cards? No dice. And if you draw a Tornado Rex card, you unleash Tornado Rex. Oh! Tornado Rex, Tornado Rex, here we go. No! This, right? Hey, yeah, I trust you. Three wines. Three wines. Ready? Yeah. Count them. One, two. Oh! You. I'm just kidding. I would never do that. <gasps> oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! Stop cheating. I'm cheating? Yes, yeah, what, what have cheating. I done to cheat? Oh, just a second ago, I saw you moving pieces around. I didn't yeah, move yeah, mother you, Yeah, you did. I saw you with the cards, you sneaking the cards up your sleeves. I did not put anything up my sleeve. I saw you put something up your though. You were blowing on the pieces, I saw you doing that. I saw you a goat last night. You know what, I'm just sick of your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We got some Turtles board games here, and uh, we got this tic-tac-toe game, which is kind of weird. This is like kid, and Michelangelo's got his hand on his shoulder. He's just more like realistic, and he's like a cartoon. These look like sperms on top of the pizza. Huh? <laughs> it's interesting that Turtles is in red because usually that would be in green. That is weird. Durable high-tech construction. How high tech is this? Th this like plastic toy from the 80s is high tech. Sure. Let's, let's see if it's high tech. Maybe it's made out of like some kind of titanium or something. Hey, but ma ma maybe we're wrong. wrong. <laughs> Durable, my <laughs> Look at this. Look, you could bend this <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I could break that so easily. High tech. Yeah, yeah. real durable. All right, we're going to throw these pizzas and the... Uh, what kind of pizzas are these? They look like they've been chewed up and barfed out. They look kind of like <laughs> to me. Oh.
Yeah! Uh, this game sucks. Let's go play another one. Alright, our next game is Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles? Hero Turtles, that was the European name, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. I want to be Raphael. Alright, so I'll be Michelangelo. <laughs> oh, wait, what the f is this? Raphael has a sword. Oh my god, they screwed that up. So you put your turtle on the turtle van to start out. Alright. We each get a, a slice of a pizza. Mmm. You know what's weird is that you think that these pizzas would actually fit where the spinner is. Because they made them the same exact size, but really, no, the pizzas have nothing to do with the spinner. Basically, according to the instructions, it says, place the April O'Neil manhole cover on the space at the end of the alley, the one with the dust bins. You go around in a clockwise motion. I don't think you ever go backward. You always go clockwise, and if you land on a sewer cover, you get to look at that, but only you. So it's kind of like a memory game. At the very end, when you get to April O'Neil, then you're supposed to guess where the four turtles are. And if you find them all, then you win. You know, you know, what so if Michelangelo lands on top of that manhole cover? Then he lifts the manhole cover, and it's himself? He finds himself in the manhole. That's deep, man. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so then I get to secretly look under this manhole cover. No, you're not supposed to look. I wasn't looking. Okay, spin. Wherever the spinner goes, you look at this quadrant of the slice or whatever. Oh, quadrant of the slice? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what happens. And I got red background. Now, red background meant the player who has the matching player piece may look under any manhole oh. cover immediately. Oh, I like that. All right, made it to April. And let me guess where the turtles are. Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo and Raphael. Oh yeah! It's really just the stupidest idea of a Turtles game I think it's, I've ever it's heard. It's terrible. I think somebody had to come up with a Turtles game in one day and some guy sat down and he was like, okay, well the Turtles, sewers, uh, flip the manhole cover, let's have a thing it's, that you spin uh, and, <laughs> and throw some pizzas in there. <laughs> you know, I hate to say, I think I like the tic-tac-toe game better. It is better. <laughs> and that one sucked things. too. This game is the one that most people remember. The yeah. Pizza Power game. This is the one I remember. It, you notice anything wrong about Splinter? I guess just that he's gray. Yeah, why isn't Splinter brown? Why is Raphael on the uh, billboard up top? Mm. Don't the turtles usually hide in the sewers? Hey, look at look at this. Like these, they got these little comics. Is there anything you turtles won't eat for breakfast? Sure, lunch and dinner. And then he's given the finger. Uh, that's his middle finger. And look at that, he's just like winking like he knows he's given the finger. You go around, you fight different bad guys, you're supposed to win three fights, and you're supposed to have four good guy cards at the end. Okay. So then at the very end, you have to go to the Technodrome and actually fight Krang, I guess. Okay. Uh, Rocksteady says punk. It's true that Bebop and Rocksteady were punks before they got mutated into a rhino and warthog, yeah. but why would they just have to call them punks? So we just put all the bad guy cards in their respective colors. If you land on a fight space close to one of these quadrants where they have a bad guy, then you get to fight the... Uh... Everything's a <laughs> quadrant. <laughs> that's what it says in the instructions. Oh, uh, it does it yeah. <laughs> You can only fight as if, if you have a number that's equal or greater. Now, now keep in mind, I am Michelangelo, right? I know that much. Yeah. That's the only thing I know so far. <laughs> but I'm drawing a card for different turtles. I mean, I can understand Splinter fighting, yeah. you know? Yeah. But April O'Neil fighting Krang? Uh, she'd that... be Yeah. <laughs> you put the dice right in there, and you have two chances to land the dice into the number that that card is. Oh, so God. What happens if the dice lands outside? Then you lose. Uh -huh. Do you think kids would really enjoy this flipper thing? I mean, kids would just be like, eh, yeah. eh. Once you win those three fights and get the four cards that you need, the four good guy cards, then you're supposed to take the spinner off the board. Like now you're supposed yeah. to go to the Technodrome. But that's not all. You have to enter the Technodrome through one of these manholes on the side. And to do that, to move them, you have to land on a move sewer cover. Once you get to the Technodrome, the way to beat Krang, you have to flip this thing four times. You get four chances to land in all three spaces. You go through the whole game and that's the end? 
that. The game is called Pizza Power, right? Yeah. So what happens if you land on a piece of pizza? If you land on the pizza, you spin the pizza spinner. Shouldn't there be a hole here to put the thing through yeah, or something? Yeah. But this thing's like flopping all over the place. You know what I like about this, by the way, is the fact that if you spin this and you land and you land here, it just says go anywhere. So yeah. I can just go anywhere I'm gonna I go, want. I'm gonna get okay, to I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right to. The Technodrome, then. To be honest, the way this game is laid out, it's like a complete free-for-all. You could pretty much just go anywhere, anytime. Because, you know how in the other game where you had to go around clockwise? Yeah. This one, you can go any way you want. Like, say, you know, I roll the dice, I can go this way, or I can go that way. I, I can go any direction. So, pretty much, you always have the same chance of landing on any space you want. Like, say I want to land on a pizza space, pretty much 75% of the entire spinner, you can go anywhere. So, what's the point when already it's easy to get anywhere? The, the thing that's, like, interesting about this is, if you look at the board, the board is actually really awesomely illustrated. Yeah, the artwork is, is really good. The artwork makes you want to play it. It's really colorful. It looks a lot better uh, visually, like the illustrations, than any of the other games. But the game itself just sucks. I didn't think I would say this before, but the uh, beanbag game was most fun of all these Turtles games. So, wow. if you, all I'm going to say about these Ninja Turtles board games is, if you want to play a fun Ninja Turtles game, play one of the video games, not the board games, <laughs> because they suck. Cowabunga. Yeah. Key to the Kingdom. Now this is what you call a game. As a kid, it was one of my favorites. On the cover you see a wizard, a warrior, and a dragon. You know you can't go wrong. The game looks complicated, but you can learn it as you play. It's a pretty quick setup. You just pick your players here. You got purple, gray, blue, green, red, and poopy brown. You have all these treasure cards. You hide them at random in the dungeons. One of these cards is the key, and that's what you need. All players compete to find which dungeon has the key, and once you get the key, plus one other treasure, you need to go back to the start to exit the kingdom and win the game. Each player gets a handful of equipment cards. These come useful when you're in a hazard zone. You might need the food to throw it to the wild boar, or a rope to climb out of the rat pit. When you approach a hazard, you get out the hazard book to find out how to deal with it. For example, I have to cross the bridge in two rolls or less, or else I wake the giant. When you get to the dungeon, you fight a monster. This is where it gets really fun. You draw a random monster card. Some of these are totally insane, like the insectoid witch, the alien stalker, the demonic dwarf, the gargantuan cockroach, and the flying werewolf. Each monster has its own rules. For example, to beat the putrid poltergeist, you need a grappling hook and you have to guess if the total sum of three rolls will be higher or lower than 13. Yeah, let's battle some monsters with our crazy mathematics. If you win, you take the treasure, hoping it's the key. If you lose, you go to the dungeon prison cell. The coolest thing about this game is when you land on a whirlpool. Whoa! The world is expanding before our very eyes. That's right, the game gets bigger. I always enjoyed not telling my friends about this part until it happened. Many drinks were spilled and many bowls of potato chips were knocked over. Oh, and what happens if you get trapped in the folding of the board? Well, you have three rolls to get out or else you die. Oh, God. Well, he's dead. Now that the world's expanded, there's a living forest, the tiger pen, the well of doom, and plenty more dungeons. There's a bridge that you have to build, and there's always a dangerous spot where if you fall off, you have to go down a separate course. I also forgot to mention the Demon King. If you happen to run into him, you get locked up in the dungeon. Every time you move your character, the Demon King transports to that number, so you never know where he's going to show up. This adds a lot of tension to the game. Once somebody finds the key, that's when it gets real intense. The other players have a chance to steal the key. If you're the one with the key, you want to make it out of there fast, because right now, everybody else is against you. 
If they get to the whirlpool first, they might close the board on you. One of your friends might actually wait by the exit, and as soon as you come near, they'll jump on the whirlpool and fold the game back out again. But you do have three rolls to escape, so they better plan it just right. Yep, everybody's an when it comes to Key of the Kingdom. If you can manage to find this game, get some friends together and give it a go. It's one of the greats. Donut disaster. Donut disaster? What the f is this stupid contraption? Well, it's a donut baking machine, obviously. Oh yeah, it really looks like one with all those colors. Yeah, I mean, these are your donuts right here. That's a donut? Looks just like a donut. But anyway, they are unbaked, so you gotta bake the donuts on the donut baking machine before the machine goes haywire and explodes. Pretty damn loud, isn't it? It's really loud. Yeah, so you roll the dice. Orange, I put my orange one on top. You better hurry up. There you go. All right, my turn. Oh! Scares the out of you, doesn't it? Hey, guys. Do I smell donuts? Oh, no. Bad luck, Bootsy. Well, we're playing Donut Disaster, but you can't play. Gee willikas, guys. Give me another chance. Aw, oh, man, we gotta play this game with him again? I don't wanna play with him. He's a friggin' schmuck. Oh, you got a coffee. You want to be just like us, huh? I like my coffee how I like my women. With my d**k in it! Oh! Boink, 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 boink. So what do you say, guys? Are we playing this game or what? Playing Don't Disaster with you? That would be a disaster indeed. Anytime we try to play a game with you, we can never get through it. Listen, guys, I know I pulled a few boners, but come on, just give me one more chance. Well, this thing explodes anyway, so how much could he f*** it up, really? What? Alright, fine, you can play the game, but you gotta understand, the donuts explode off the top and it can be very startling. Can you handle that? Easy as pie. Now what do you say? Let's G-O, go, go, gee ho
with me, Loopin' Louie! I don't know where the hell we're gonna play it though. The spot to play this game. Look at that. Look, look way back there. We got tables. Hey, board jam. Yeah, yeah. What's hey. happening, man? Yeah, you want to play a game? Hell yeah, I do. Loop and Louie. Loop and Louie. Yeah, now the only thing, we need a place to play it. Dude. Like, Dude, what do we got here? What do we got here, game? Yeah, you want to use the table? Let's see. Hey, everyone, what is that? Stunt pilot who's flying around dive bombing chickens at a barn. Oh, oh, he's got a oh, oh, no. oh, 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 no. oh, Insane in the red plane. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Get off my foul. Lubin? No. That was up, Louis. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's a record. What a stunt, man. <laughs> oh, there we go. Come on. Frickin' chicken. Frickin' chickens. Oh! Oh! You're dead, dude. I'm dead. Oh! Come on, James. Wow. Oh, we oh. burst you. Oh. oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh no. I want you to lose, James. Oh. I'm dead. This is what winning looks like, people! Oh, <laughs> They're kicking you out? I think so, yeah. Do they know um, who you are? James, we're, getting, uh, we're so. getting some ladies in the plane. Uh, are we? Time? Okay. Can we do Rest one more game before they kick yeah, us out? Yeah, do we have time for one more? No. Oh. Oh, do you know who this is? <laughs> we gave you like James. 15 minutes. This is uh -huh. James. Hey, oh, thank you. All right, we're gonna have to relocate or something. <laughs> we're gonna continue it right here, right outside the Kraken room. Ready, guys? Release the Kraken. Louie, Louie, Louie. We still hit Louie. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 what? Oh, whoa! What? All right. Oh, I could. Oh, it's oh. just some crazy Italian in a biplane. Yes, That's I the know. premise of this. Oh. All right. Oh. 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 The fact that I'm getting so much joy out of this is, <laughs> is disconcerting. <laughs> oh. Oh, take that. Day. No. Oh, Louis. Oh no. Oh. oh man. It's not Louis. Oh. oh. <laughs> Well, that's Loop and Louie. This game sucks. Today, Monster Madness, the board game. 
It's a pretty old game, and as it says here, the Mad Doctor felt it was safe to lock the Mummy, Dracula, the Wolfman, and the Frankenstein monster in his dungeon while he went into town. But a storm came up and BAM! The castle roof was ripped off by a huge bolt of lightning. Now the monsters are scrambling over each other to reach the laboratory at the top of the castle. So let's play the game. Who you want to be? I want to be the mummy. The mummy. I'm going to be Dracula. Okay. Certain monsters have certain spaces that actually give them power, like the Wolfman. If you land here, it says, Aroo, full moon, werewolf only, leaps ahead. Like if you were the mummy and you landed here, it would say, Your daddy wants to give you a lift. Mummy only rides ahead 12 spaces. <laughs> daddy mummy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can go first. All right, here we go. Actually, I want to go first. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, lightning bolt. Nothing. Four, one, two, three, four. Oh, see, we land on the same space. That means we get to fight. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, just take a card. We don't look. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three, shoot. Eighteen. Oh, you lose. Now, it doesn't really do much. Cause all it's going to do is send me back to start. Send you back below to the dungeon where you belong. <laughs> One, two. What's this say? This is kind of annoying that you have to like all the words spiral around the board. This game will just make your break your neck. <laughs> Hit by boulder, fall into dungeon. Ooh, back to oh the dungeon. Oh my god. You can't get out of this dungeon. This is kind of like deadly danger dungeon. It is. You just keep falling back. Two, one, two. Uh, friendly bats lead you ahead seven spaces. All right. <laughs> Spiderweb, climb across. Oh, cool. Very appropriate for Dracula. Walk across five spaces. Watch this, I get to go across the rope. <laughs> Ladder, it's time to climb. Nice. Oh, so you're ahead of me? All right, yeah. This. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, ah. <gasps> I was ahead, this sucks. One. Slippery slime slide ahead three. One, two, three. Uh, oh, this is bull. I was winning. Two, one, two. Slippery slime slide ahead three. One, two, three. Oh and no. Fight time. Oh no. Fight time. All right. Mix them up. Mix them uh. up. Mix them up. Ready? And one, two, three. Flip. Oh, oh I got you that time. This game. Here you go. Boom. You're back. I need a two, I need a two. Two! Oh, there it's I not am. over yet though, you still have to roll a lightning bolt. Yeah, I know. So I, I still have a chance. Down. I still have a chance. Oh, I go back. Oh yeah, you Okay, okay, now I lie down the slab. Dracula's laying on the slab, and here comes the lightning bolt. No, it's not coming. Bolt. Oh! oh. <laughs> Super monster! Come on! Now that was Monster Madness, the game. It's pretty exciting. What I'm looking forward to is Cinemassacre's Monster Madness, starting October 1st. Oh! <laughs>